See Lindelof videos, AP calculus, change of variable for definite integration number two. This is a very special case, and what I'm suggesting in this is, in this is that there are two, kind of two ways to do this. One is to use u substitution, and then substitute back in your value. Substitute back in your u value at the end of the problem and integrate as normal. The other way uses this situation. And the situation is this. If you have a definite integral from a to b of f of g of x times g prime at x dx, you recognize that this pattern. Well, you don't have to integrate it back to x. You can integrate it to u, but you have to change the lower and upper bounds. So, oh, here, we're going to let u equal g of x, just so we know where we're getting this g of x thing, g of x. All right? It's not very difficult at all, and let's, let's try to apply this really quickly. So here, we're given this problem. We're given this problem here, and we're assigned that u will equal this. So first thing I can do is rewrite this this way. I can't change this interval yet, but I have 12x squared. And then we have u here. u is equal to this inside piece, so we have u here cubed dx. So hopefully you can see that, while maybe you can see that it looks a little bit better, it also looks bad because we have our integration in terms of x and in terms of u, so we have to clean that up. So what I would do here is I would take du dx, that is to say I would take the derivative of that thing right there, which happens to be 12x squared. Hopefully you can see that that's a really good thing. Um, because it's not, uh, so I'm looking at this 12x squared and this one, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to move this negative sign out here if that's okay with you. That's what I'm going to do. You don't have to, that you can leave it just where it was. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for dx. I'm going to solve for dx, and dx is equal to du over 12x squared, just a little piece of algebra. The reason I'm doing that is because I can replace dx. It says dx is this. Well, this is dx. So I can use this as a replacement value. So I have du over 12x squared. And hopefully you can see that these are all factors. And this is over 1, so hopefully you can see that this and this cancel out. So it starts to look really good. You're like, okay, this is good. So I get this. And you would get this cancels and this cancels. You would get u cubed du, wouldn't you? Remember, it was from 0 to 1. This is where I got in trouble yesterday. People said, oh my gosh, that's, that's not right. What I said in that video that's different than this video is in that video, my intention was that now I would go back and I would say, well, u is equal to this value up here. And I was going to resubstitute in this value. And if you resubstitute in this value, you will not be using this rule. And this is the rule we're about to use. So we want g of a to g of b here. So when we do this now, we need g of 0 to g of 1. Remember that g is du, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, g is u, which was 4x cubed, was it plus 1? 4x cubed minus 1, thank you, minus 1. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take g of 0. g of 0 is 4 times 0 cubed minus 1, which is equal to negative 1, isn't it? So that would give me negative 1 here. Give me negative 1 right here. And g of 1 would be 4 times 1 cubed minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3, so 3. From here, I don't have to do any substitution. I can integrate in terms of u, and then I can use fundamental theorem of calculus in terms of this, inner, this lower and upper bounds here. So that was my point yesterday. Thank you for asking good questions. I hope I clarified. Any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, if you uh, haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks.